hello everyone and welcome to today's video my name is Zara if you're new here before we get into the video please 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 click the subscribe button yes thank you very much it helps me please click the subscribe button in today's video I'm going to be answering um, the most Google question about medical school and medical students I have done a part one to this video if you have not seen it don't worry I'm going to leave it linked up here somewhere Okay, let's get into the video. The first question here says, what do medical students learn in first year? Basically, first year is like an advanced year from high school. So you learn basically physics, chemistry and biology just at an advanced level, a more advanced level. And also general studies, GS. Um, general study has English. Um, use of library, social sciences, and other general courses that everybody in the university must do. The second question here says, what do medical students wear? I'm going to use my school as a typical example because I know that most schools don't wear, don't have like a dress code or uniform. But basically, what you wear varies from the classes that you're in. When you're in first year, you're allowed to wear what everybody in the uni is wearing. Mufti, you can put on trousers, you can put on shoes, whatever it is you want to wear. When you're in second year, second year and third year are kind of together in medical school because that's your preclinical year. So, in my time, we were allowed to wear um, Mufti. But now, second year and third years in my school are asked to wear white and black. A white top and a black skirt. It is a requirements you must wear it okay but in my time we're allowed to wear mufti but they was a limit to what we could wear we couldn't wear trouser we couldn't wear slippers we couldn't wear um sleeveless um tops we couldn't wear shorts you had to wear skirts you had to wear a sleeve you know and you had to put on shoes for the guys you had to tuck in and you had you needed to have a tie but now everybody in second year and third year are putting on white top and a black skirt or trousers depending on your gender okay and then when you cross over to your clinical class there are a variety of things that you could wear you are you're supposed to wear white and black a white top and a black skirt as a clinical student from your fourth year to your final year okay and also you have your word coats your word coat is what you wear when you have like rotations medical rotations when you're um when you have word rounds and all of that you need your word coat. Without your word coat, you probably not be allowed to be participate in that day activity. Okay. Then, if you're in a surgical unit, you need your scrubs, which is very, 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 very important. You can't enter the surgery room, the theater, without a scrubs and a proper footwear. Okay. So that is what we wear in medical school. The next question here says, why do medical students drop out? In all honesty. I can't really say, I can't really give like an answer to this question. Maybe they found out that what they were doing, they didn't like being a medical student, they didn't want to become a doctor, or maybe they were pushed into studying medicine and they realized that they couldn't do it. Financial reasons also, maybe a loss of a sponsor or something could make one drop out of school in general. Um, why do medical students get depressed? Well, first of all, the bulk load what you have to learn on that six years is kind of bulky to be honest every class has that very bulky subject and in the very bulky subjects are very bulky topics okay and sometimes when you're reading and you don't understand what you're reading or you feel like there is so much to read and exam is just around the corner a lot of things to get medical sometimes you don't even know why you're depressed in medical school to be honest you're just frustrated you're just overwhelmed you're tired you have little to no sleep this happens especially during exam times another question here says why do medical students need to practice on cadavers this is very easy. Well, this happens when you're in your second and third year of medical school, your preclinical classes, when you're still learning anatomy and anatomy, physiology, and all of that. So, in anatomy, you need to pr practice on cadavers. If you don't know what cadavers is, cadavers are non living people. I don't want to use the D word, but yeah, non living people. Okay. 
so we need to practice on cadavers because um to get the full understanding of anatomy especially if you want to be a surgeon one day you need to know the orientation of the human body in a non-living person before you can actually practice on a living person so when you're told that this is where the heart is you need to know that this is where the heart is and know the blood supply and all of that to be honest it's not like we understand everything that we see when we open up the cadavers but um, um practicing on cadavers really help the next question here says why do medical students fail um okay not reading the right thing i mean reading everything and at the end of the day reading nothing when you have an exam and you don't know where to place your focus on and you just read everything and read like everywhere that could be a cause of failure um not reading at all let's be honest not all medical students read the way they're supposed to read so that could be a reason i don't know if you're a medical student or you were once in medical school please comment down below and tell me why you think medical students fail because even a lot of lecturers are looking for the answer to this honestly another question here says how can i be a better medical student ha <laughs> oh my god okay this is actually something that is personal and should be individualized if you feel like there is something that you're doing wrong that you should not be doing then change it and become better at doing the right thing i mean how can i how can a medical student study effectively um i have a video coming up very soon i don't know if i should answer this question since i have that video coming up so i think i'm going to wait till that video comes up so you guys just subscribe to the channel if you're not and if you want to know how to study effectively as a student generally subscribe to the channel and when that video comes out you get notified another question yes is how much sleep does a medical student need <laughs> I don't know about you but i love my sleep i love my sleep so much that you cannot wake me up from sleep i hate people waking me up from sleep i don't like it at all that is my quiet time it is the time where i am at peace with myself and the whole world so nobody should wake me up from sleep i sleep between six to eight hours and that is how it is i can't wake up earlier than that and it's really crazy because i am a ninth reader and how my and I, my classes are start by 8 30 a.m in the morning and i'm sleeping by 2 a.m or 3 a.m how am i supposed to meet up to class oh god has been keeping me honestly another question here says how many hours does a medical student study this is also an individual question it depends on you your individual strengths if you know that you can't study for more than two hours in a day then you know that you have to start studying immediately the new section begins because you can't catch up with all the bulk all the bulky work you have to do within two hours every day if we're honest okay but to the a minimum of two to three hours honestly as a medical student because the amount of work we have to do is really bulky and you just have to find time to make up for it so two to three hours is okay but i know that a lot of medical students read five hours eight hours ten hours yes they do it but not sometimes not at a stretch like at intervals maybe 30 minutes during break during class and mm -hmm, two hours when they wake up in the morning two hours when they come back from class five hours or four hours at night i don't know just find a plan that works for you basically another question says oh wow this is actually the last question it says how does it feel to be a medical student how does it feel let me be in my feelings right now i don't know honestly when i was not in medical school when i was aspiring to become a medical student it felt excited it felt like a thrill it felt like oh my god med school or nothing when i got into medical school occupation any form i'm feeling and they told me occupation medical students i'm not just a student i'm a medical student you understand what i mean occupation medical student i can't just put students what's that you must know that i'm studying medicine you must you must what you must know that was when i was in first year but now that i'm in well fourth year supposed to be fifth year i'm scared to actually put medical student because they'll be like you actually have a medical emergency what can you do about that i can't do nothing because i know nothing okay 
don't ask me to kill somebody please i've not gotten my certificate yet it feels overwhelming it feels sometimes it feels good we have the good days and we have our bad days honestly so it feels it feels good sometimes and it feels like depressing it feels overwhelming it feels bothersome like you have to do all this especially when you're actually almost graduating i can only imagine what the final year will be going through right now in their head like one day i'll be left with human beings like real human beings to take care of am i ready for this sometimes it actually feels overwhelming like you're going to handle somebody's life one day if you're a medical student if you're a doctor now if you're aspiring to be a medical student tell me how you feel right now being a medical student being a grad been having graduated from medical school tell me how it felt to be a medical student when you were still in medical school if you're a medical student tell me how it feels to be in medical school if you're an aspiring medical student tell me how you're feeling right now about getting into medical school yes that's the end of the video i hope i answered your question i hope one of your questions a question or two was here and i hope i answered it if you have not seen the first part one to this video i'm going to leave it linked up here so you can check it out right after this one and there's going to be a part three also so subscribe and wait for that one all right this is the end of the video guys i hope this video was helpful to a lot of people okay i'll see you in my next one i love you as always bye